Well, respect is a key ingredient in the city boxing program. Kids are transformed into active athletes, some of whom go on to become boxing champions. While most of the participants simply get fit and enjoy exercising in a safe environment. I started training kind of late. I started training at the age of 13, going on 14. My first amateur fight was 14 years old. And then um, I, I won a, a national title within that year. And then from there on, I won eight national titles in those in less than four years. I'm first off a product of the, the, the boxing program from the city of Wayne Gardens. The program's been around for over 40 years. Uh, the basis of the program is pretty much to keep uh, our youth uh, yeah, doing something productive, keeping them out of trouble and showing them some skills as much as showing them to be responsible. And the basis is yeah, just teach them some confidence, self-esteem, and also within, within the limits of respecting people also. Well, I, I first joined the program um, at 13. I came to lose weight at first, but then I got in the ring, fell in love. I was like, whoa. I like this, so I kept it going. Yeah, like it's, it's, it makes me happy to say that this program is something that, as an after-school program, and for some somehow, some way, with the, the passion that we have and some of these uh, young individuals that have pushed themselves above and beyond to try to make themselves to international level, we've had a good four gentlemen that actually have gone, that started in this program, that have gone to international and to actual Olympics, and that wasn't the actual basis, but, you know, we've pushed it and push some of these gentlemen and they've gotten to that level and we're we're super happy to have them. I actually started right here in the city of Hawaiian Gardens, you know, uh, when I was uh, seven, eight years old. Uh, I first laced up uh, the gloves right here. So uh, this, this is, uh, you know, I, I, I love the city of Hawaiian Gardens. This, this is where it all started for me. Well, I started boxing, you know, I have an older brother, Carlos Molina. He's uh, four years older than uh, me and my twin brother. And uh, when we were small, me and my twin brother, Javier, uh, we used to go to the gym, maybe when we were like six years old, just to mess around, you know, hit the bag and stuff. And uh, when we turned uh, seven, seven years old, uh, my dad told us we wanted to keep fighting. And we wanted to start fighting, and, um, and we said, yeah, why not? And when I turned eight years old, I had my first amateur fight, and since then, um, I haven't stopped. I had like about 160 amateur fights. I lost like about 15, and I was the youngest member of the 2008 Olympic team. And now uh, um, I, I turned pro when I was 19. I made my debut when I was 19, and right now I'm 11 and 1. I started boxing when I was uh, 11 years old. I started boxing because I was always a small guy. I used to get picked on and bullied and everything. So I finally just told my dad, Dad, uh, can, you, can you teach me something? He just told me, Joseph, there's a local boxing gym. So I started going to the gym and uh, just built my way up, man. I started fighting. And ever since then, I love the sport, and uh, I got hooked. Well, uh, Abner Matas was the first gentleman that uh, went to the first Olympics out of Hawaiian Gardens. That was in 2004. I was with them in Athens, and he didn't happen to get a too good of a decision out there. But being that they, that that first uh, opportunity that he was out there, Oscar De La Hoya happened to, to view him and decided to sign him, and that's the actual first world champion that Oscar De La Hoya has had from what you call the ground up that started him ground zero and he's he's his first world champion and we're very proud of him as much as for him being the competitor that he is and coming back and giving back to the community. First of all, hi, my name is Abner Mares. Um, I was raised here in Hawaiian Gardens and I feel I feel happy, I feel jittery, I'm, I'm excited uh, because this is where it all started for me. Uh, my first amateur fight was here at, in Hawaiian Gardens in the same place. So it's, uh, it's great to be here and to be watching these kids grow up. No, I won uh, many national titles as a, as a junior and then I moved on to the, to the open division and I decided to go uh, fight for Mexico. So the past four years I've been living in Mexico and fighting, uh, fighting over there. Um, I won all the nationals over there and I made it on the Mexican Olympic team. And um, I went to the qualifiers in Brazil and I qualified in Brazil and um, guaranteed my spot to the 2012 Olympics and, uh, in London. And recently I, I just got back. Um, I lost to uh, Canada in the Olympics, but you know, just the experience of being there, it was, um, 
it was amazing. It was one of the greatest feelings in the world because even when I was 10 years old, I remember one of the guys in my gym, Panchito Bojalo, he represented the Olympic Games. Even when I was 10, I, I remember saying like that, that, was, that was always been my dream when I boxed. So when I actually achieved, achieved my goal, it was, uh, you know, it was, a, it was a dream come true. When I walked out the Olympic ceremony in Beijing with, uh, with all the Olympic athletes with the, from the U.S., all the elite athletes, it was just a dream come true. Like, words can't explain it. Uh, just getting there to the Olympic Games, man, it was a great feeling. Uh, just letting everybody know from my city and uh, telling all the kids that dreams do come true because uh, that was my dream ever since I was a little kid and uh, I finally made it there and I finally was uh, able to tell the kids, man, that dreams do come true and you can do it if you just uh, put that sacrifice and determination and hard work in. Whatever you guys really want to do in life, you guys could do it. I'm really, really proud of my son Joseph. I mean, he's uh, he's really put a lot of hard work into what he's what he's done. Uh, a lot of hard work, determination. He's he's been focused. He actually, he's been really self motivated in, in the sport. Well, the program here in Hawaiian Gardens have, uh, has uh, grown really, really well. Um, I remember when I was here. I mean, I'm talking about 1993, 94. Uh, now hey, we're in 2013, and uh, and it looks great. I mean, it's growing. Yeah, kids are are um, are you know are joining these programs, uh, looking happy, and then the city itself is just growing and and, and staying away from violence, and it's just growing and looking good. I think uh, Hawaiian, Hawaiian Gardens has a, has a lot of a lot of good things going on, especially like I said, starting out with the boxing program. You know, we have the sports complex with the soccer, but like I said, within the boxing program, anything pretty much that our kids have uh, achieved and any type of financial support or support that we need to go on to international tournaments, national tournaments, they've been very supportive and we're very thankful for them as much you know council and all of our administration. It's amazing how many champions the Hawaiian Gardens boxing program has produced. But as we mentioned before, you can join the program without having to box in a ring. It's a great way to get active and exercise. We also encourage you to follow through on your New Year's resolution to become fit and healthy by joining one of the many programs at the city.